Gordon's career has been marked by great promise, but an even greater list of injuries have robbed him of a consistent role in the NBA. But with career averages of 16 points, 43% shooting and 38% shooting from behind the arc, it's no wonder that people still keep giving him opportunities. Under the careful eye of a good training staff and on a role that doesn't demand too much of him physically, Gordon could turn into a valuable NBA asset. He's a natural scorer and great shooter who even has a few playmaking skills with the ball in his hands. Gordon is still 27, so while it's unlikely he'll reach his peak with the Clippers, where he averaged 22 points in 56 games in the 2010-11 season, there's a solid player there. It's really just a question of how much he can be counted on. In five years with the Pelicans, Gordon played more than 60 games just twice, topping out at 64, with two seasons at 45 and 42 games and one more with just nine played. It's obvious the Rockets are taking a big risk here but one that could pay off. Despite all those injuries, Gordon has topped 2,000 minutes in two of the last three seasons. If he's not counted on to play over 30 minutes a game like he has in the past, there's a chance his body holds up. If it does, his combination of three-point shooting and decent defense would make him a good fit for a team that needs both. After signing Ryan Anderson, it's clear the Rockets are looking for shooters who can space the floor in Mike D'Antoni's system. Gordon fits that bill. If his health is not an issue, and that's admittedly a big if, he could be a stupid.